Good evening. Soon, millions of Americans will hit the road or board a plane for the Memorial Day holiday. This comes as the U.S. hits a major milestone in the fight against the coronavirus, with half of adults now fully vaccinated. If you are vaccinated, you are protected, and you can enjoy your Memorial Day. Now that's a very different message compared to other holidays where health officials were urging people not to gather in person due to increasing COVID cases. But as Couple Land Sarah McDonald explains, there are still some pandemic precautions you need to keep in mind as you plan your holiday get togethers. Today's nice weather has many people heading outside to enjoy the sunshine, including Andrea Murphy. She's having lunch with loved ones today. She has similar plans for Memorial Day. It's actually my birthday on Memorial Day, so I get the day off, which is kind of nice. Uh, we're just going to take the weekend to spend some time outdoors and um, go golfing, enjoy the weather if it's nice enough, and get some fresh air and sunshine. <laughs> While we are seeing a decline in COVID-19 cases, you may still be wondering what's the best way to keep everyone safe. Certainly want people to be aware of who's around them and is it someone that, you know, potentially could be very affected by getting COVID and that's someone that, you, you know, you really want to be careful, maybe a little smaller gathering, really focusing on making sure people are vaccinated in those situations. Dr. Willie says it's also important to evaluate your own health when it comes to making that decision on what you want to do. Just be thoughtful and, and respectful of those around you as well, uh, knowing that some people have some medical issues you may not even be aware of. There's a lot of information out there. Uh, I have a lot of faith in, in uh, people being able to take care of themselves and uh, and do so. Uh, you know, read, read what's out there, know what's around you, um, get together, uh, but, but be thoughtful. Leaving people like Murphy looking forward to spending time with her friends and family. I think everybody's looking back or looking forward to getting a little more normalcy, um, trying to do what we can to stay safe, but also enjoying times with friends and family and getting back to uh, more of our normal routine. Some normal holidays. I think we're all looking forward to that. Yes. Now, Sarah, if you want to be more cautious, what are some things that people can do over the holiday weekend? Yeah, well, Dr. Wilde says using hand sanitizer is always good practice. He also encourages people to consider getting vaccinated. All right, thank you, Sarah. Well, travel over the Memorial Day weekend is expected to rebound after seeing record low numbers last year. AAA predicts 37 million people will travel at least 50 miles from their homes. Now, that's a 60% increase over last year.